everybody. How about we try something uh, like a nice quick way to make a card today? And um, I have been trying to organize my scrapbooking room and um, in the process trying to organize all my paper into a way that makes sense to me so I can use up my scraps and whatnot. So, um, Valentine's Day was last week and I needed to make 12 cards and I needed to make them quickly so I could get them into the mail. And what I did was I, I went into my scraps and, um, I cut card bases. So here's a scrap of one that I used. It's r raspberry and it's kind of, um, uh, Valentine-ish. And what you, what you want is a, a base. Your card base should be, should be cut eight and a half by five and a half. So I'll put this at the eight and a half. And I, I did this, like I cut all my card bases. Let's see. I didn't press down hard enough and I'm not giving myself enough room because I've not yet organize this space here and we want five and a half here now I could get another card base if I push that over all right so then I want to switch to my scoring blade on this just pop out the straight blade and put the scoring blade in and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Just about at four and a quarter should be halfway. And then I have my card base. Simple as that. So I don't need the scoring blade anymore. So I'm going to take that one out. I'll set it aside and put it back later and put my straight blade in. So I, I went to my Valentine paper. And I'm storing my paper in these these are these are old folders that I had they're creative memories they're um, they're a great way to, to store your paper we also have available to purchase power project folders and it'll organize your paper and you can put stickers in there that match and all that but I'm using up what I had and um, it's making a big difference in my life so I pulled out some Valentine paper And what you, what you want here, I wanted, you see the card is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I wanted a piece, I wanted some of the pink to show around the edge. So I, I cut a, a piece at five and a quarter by four and a quarter. And you have to be cognizant as to what direction you want that going. So... This is going to be up and down, five and a quarter. By four and a quarter. Not four and a quarter. A little less than four and a quarter. All right. So now this will go on here like this. And I, I wanted it the other way, but guess what? I didn't. So... This will go on here like this. And now you've got a nice card front for a Valentine card. That's not the one I wanted. Okay. So now you're going to put your adhesive on. Now that it's all where it's supposed to be. And stick that down. Now, if you have Valentine paper and you don't want to send a Valentine card... You could put this side up and then spice it up. Okay, so there's there's the card front. But I saw that it needed more. So I I cut some strips. And you see I still have some more because from my scraps I had a lot of strips. So what I did was 
well, this will have, this will definitely have to go this way because the hearts are going in the right direction. So this will go, actually, maybe the flowers, I think, are too busy. All right, let's, let me see what I have. No, nope, I think I'll do the, the hearts. Hearts on hearts. Going up and down. And then you can take plain white and go across like this. And actually, this was cut from a paper pack insert. And I, I use I use that the white in there for my cards and for to map pictures in my albums and stuff. So now we need something here. So what I did was um, I went into my embellishment box, and I'll show you that. Give me a second to clear off the top. I'll just push it all over. And I got this tip from Melissa Allman. This is how she stores all her embellishments. And it's a photo box. And I have everything organized. And I'll go in with, I'll get some bling, miscellaneous bling. And I'll go with mix and match because I know I have flowers and stuff in there. Now I'm going to put this aside. And I like have, having these all organized that way. So um, I'm going to pick a flower to go in that corner. That, that's going to go with this. And there's yellow in here. And there's brown and pink and, and such. So really, any color will, will look really cute there. It's just a matter of uh, finding the right one. So... Let's get, that looks kind of nice. It's got the dots in it and there's dots in these. I'm going to do that. So I'll put the tape runner and put that on. And then I think I'll pop this up with a foam square. I love the foam squares on cards. And then I'll get some bling from my bling box. And I like this. Look at that. That nice heart goes with it. Bring a little pink in. Should have my multi-purpose tool it would place it perfectly there so there's the front of the card all set so now when you open it you can write on here but it's better if you have something white to write on it shows up better so again i have um the inside and I'm going to cut that again at five and a quarter by four and an eighth and we're going to put that right inside here and you have the pink that shows around the edges. It looks good. And you can, on the inside here like this, you can stamp it. You can write something. What I like to do is take my black pen. I usually I like to, that's my favorite one. And um, I write a nice message, something personal to that person and unique.
Now you can, you don't want to put anything that's going to pop up, make this pop up, but you can put something like that over here to make it look pretty. And it shows up really well. And there's a there's another Valentine card, but it doesn't have to be a Valentine card. It could be a birthday card. You can write something here or stamp something there if you have a stamp. You can stamp happy birthday if you want. And then write a little message inside and stamp something inside if you have, have the right stamps. But that's a it's a quick way to make a card. You take a scrap and cut it to the right size and you cut a couple of strips. Another thing you can do with those strips is, which I, I could have done there, but I didn't. Cut a little banner like that. You just kind of bend it ever so slightly. And the lighter weight paper, that doesn't show so much. But there's another way to do that. If you mark the center of that, okay, so there's at the white, the cent, this is a one inch, so the center is a half inch. I got a pencil here. That's the center. And guess what? You start at the center and cut out, and you've got the arrow. So, and that gives you a, the perfect angle on either side. So that's just a little tip there for cutting. But if you're using designer paper that's lighter weight, that little crease isn't going to show here. So that's it for today. I hope you're all, you know, doing well. And um, I'm scheduled for my vaccine tomorrow. So the end is getting near, the end of this nightmare that we've been living for the past year. It's, gonna, it's coming close, and we'll be able to get together soon in person. But I'm still going to do my instructional videos for those of you that don't come to the crops. But um, I, just, uh, I just want you to know that I am doing that. And, oh, I want to tell you, National Scrapbook Day is coming up. We're celebrating the last weekend in April and the first weekend in May. And we have a great event plan in the planning stages. And um, I would really, you know, if you're interested in coming, just uh, shoot me a message and I'll send you the registration forms. But we have uh, good food and um, good education and beautiful prizes. And um, it's just gonna be a really good time. So, and it'll be, it'll be a real good time for everyone to get out and to socialize with people and work on your albums or work on your cards or whatever it is you like to work on. That's it for now. Take care.